Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from BJ Tech News, and today is a video request. Now, today's video request is from a particular IT professional that is trying to migrate their virtual machines into their system, um, system center virtual machine manager. Uh, so the scenario is that they have a, a server running Hyper-V Manager. They have a bunch of servers. Uh, for this example, I'm only using one to make it short and simple. And uh, they installed the Virtual Machine Manager server and as well as the console to migrate their stuff in here. So they basically want to take this into this. Now, from my understanding, I am not a suave guru person but for what I've seen so far you need Hyper-V for Virtual Machine Manager to work properly. Now I'm, I'm running 2008 R2 version so I haven't had the chance to actually get the latest uh, Virtual Machine Manager from Microsoft but for what I've seen so far you cannot take these virtual machines and add them here okay and the reason why is because okay so if I create a new virtual machine within the virtual machine manager server right create a new one click next um, give it a name let's call it uh, BJVMM hit next uh, you configure the profile I'm gonna make it real small for now I don't really need a big thing this is phony for testing hit next now when it gets to the section of select destination you have place the virtual machine on a host or store the virtual machine in the library now if you store in the library stores the virtual machine in the library for later use before you can use the virtual machine you must deploy it on a host okay now if I hit next I have no host I have to add a host into my virtual machine manager to add a virtual machine now Hyper-V Manager is considered a host so I'm gonna go inside my host and I'm going to go add a host now also you can also add a VMware Virtual Sensor server as well now you want to give it a password now the password is um, um, an administrative password within your Active Directory you gotta take in consideration that um, system Center Virtual Machine Manager has to be part of a domain. It will not work if it's not part of a domain controller. Okay. Um, I'm going to do Windows Server based hosts on a, an Active Directory. You can also pick Windows Server based hosts on a per, um, perimeter network or VMware EX, uh, EXX server host any location. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hit next and. I'm gonna skip this and just do a search and let's see if I get anything see see I picked up the machine this machine itself is a Microsoft Hyper-V so it's considered a host okay if I hit next read all this stuff blah 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 has to be enabled all this stuff now I'm running everything on a virtual machine this is not the best way to do it it took me a while to actually get Hyper-V installed on the virtual machine um, infrastructure uh, because you need to have VT enabled and it's, it's just crazy I'm actually running VMware workstation on 9.0 which is the latest and greatest so it still didn't work and they actually have a um, Hyper-V unsupported um, section so I'm gonna show you guys what I mean go to settings options uh, right here version Hyper-V unsupported that still didn't work so I had to actually force the machine with a PowerShell script so if you guys are really want that script just let me know I, I, I shoot it to you uh, hit next and give it a path of where you want all your virtual machines I'm gonna keep everything consistent because this is the path of where I have my Hyper-V being stored at so I'm just gonna keep everything consistent alright hit add host and 
that's it. It's going to cement the job to add the host. I think the last time I did this, my machine rebooted, so I don't know if you know it was updates or something that was being pushed out. Uh, I, I typically, when I install stuff like this, I, I just start working on it and not reboot machines. But uh, the job is still running. It's on 66. Um, give it some time until it runs. I want this stuff to be all run before I go to the next step. Um, yeah, so from my understanding, the scenario that the user provided is not uh, able to do it. You need a Hyper-V, you need a host to store, um, to store your virtual machines. I think the whole point of the system center virtual machine manager that's what it is it's a manager it's supposed to manage and uh, control virtual machines a little better okay um, it, it allows you to do uh, failovers uh, what else uh, and fault tolerance and all that good stuff so it's completed I added it already in as you can see this is the host that I have if you click on the host it basically gives you a rundown of all the goodies that it has and uh, we're gonna go to virtual machine as you can see I have a host already in it so now I'm able to create a new virtual machine within my virtual machine manager okay and when I create the new one I'm gonna give it a name VJ VMM right hit next now I'm gonna give it a small size because Again, this is a virtual machine. I'm running real low on space. And then I'm going to choose place the virtual machine on a host because I do have a host. And as you can see, the host is there. I select it. Pick next. By default, it's going to go here because that's the path that I gave it. But if you want to always change it, you can change it. Hit next. And pick your adapters I'm not gonna deal with that again this is just testing purposes just to show you guys again this is up to you I'm just gonna keep it all the same whatever operating system you're working with um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick Windows 7 why not pick next and create and it will submit a job as you can see it's submitting the job once the job is completed the virtual machine is created within your virtual machine manager but it is being actually hosted inside your hi your, hi your Hyper-V. Now I got a warning because again you're gonna get a lot of errors when you're running this in a virtual environment especially when you're doing it on VM workstation. Now if I go into virtual machines you see my BJ migrate which was actually on my Hyper-V and this is actually in my Hyper-V as well but I'm able to manage it. Well, you can actually my you can actually manage it the same way that you manage it in Hyper-V, but you got a little bit more stuff with the virtual machine manager. Now, when you add the host, you probably if you click on it, right click on it, you probably says migrate storage. Now, the migrate storage is basically select the storage location of the host for the virtual machine files, okay? Uh it was just basically migrated to a new path that's what it is that's what that is now you also got migrate now migrate is say if uh, your Hyper-V is going bad or your machine is going bad and you created a new virtual machine uh, you created a new physical server with Hyper-V you add the host into it you're actually able to migrate um, this virtual machine to another Hyper-V okay so yeah that, that's basically it you know you can't actually take the virtual machines here and place it into this virtual machine node you actually have to have or add a host and the host is actually Hyper-V manager best practices is not to have your virtual machine server in the same place of where your Hyper-V manager is at uh, because if something goes wrong with your virtual machine manager server 
your hyper V goes down so it's it's really crazy hopefully this answers the question and uh, you know leave comments below and I catch you guys later thank you